start with the headlines first. Iran will support any Gaza ceasefire deal agreed by Hamas, Iranian Foreign Minister tells his Qatari counterpart, as diplomatic efforts for a deal to free the hostages and bring an end to 10-month-long war continue. Top U.S. general says imminent threat of a broader war in West Asia has eased after Israel and Hezbollah exchanged fire without further escalation, but Iran still remains a significant threat. United Nations aid operations in Gaza ground to a halt after Israel's new evacuation orders in central Gaza Strip. Palestinian authorities say five killed in Israeli airstrike on West Bank. At least four people killed as Russia fires hundreds of drones and missiles at Ukraine. U.S. President Joe Biden denounces outrageous Russian assault targeting Ukraine's power grid. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and U.S. President Joe Biden discussed Russia-Ukraine war after Modi's visit to Ukraine. The two leaders also discussed current situation in Bangladesh. Tulsi Gabbard, former Democratic Congresswoman and 2020 presidential candidate, endorses Republican nominee Donald Trump in the U.S. presidential election. Shares of billionaire investor Carl Icahn's enterprise hit a nearly 21-year low. This follows announcement on Monday to sell up to $400 million depository units through an at-the-market offering program. Stock drops as much as 14.3%, lowest since November 2003.